Hey friends, this is my Disney bound everyday challenge. So basically every day this week, I decided to wear an outfit inspired by a Disney character. First up is Ariel. I started with the skirt, which is from Hot Topic originally. It came from a Over the Garden Wall collection. And then the shirt, I think it's from Aeropostale. I of course had to pair it with my amazing Sebastian backpack, which was thrifted about 10 years ago. Tuesday was everybody's favorite silly old bear. I started with my favorite mustard yellow shorts that I got from Blue Notes quite a few years ago. And the tank top was gifted to me from my mom. And of course I had to add in my Winnie the Pooh mask I got from Etsy. It's Baby Yoda Day! So this outfit was very loosely inspired by the child from The Mandalorian. The cardigan was from Urban Planet. I bought that quite a few years ago. The dress and belt are from Blue Notes. The shoes are from our den. And the bag is from Target. We had Target in Canada. And of course, the Baby Yoda mask is from Shop Disney. Up next, we have a super, super casual um, peasant bell sound. Shorts are from Blue Notes. T-shirt is from the stage production of Les Mis. When I saw it in Vancouver, the blue cardigan I got from the garage quite a few years ago. And we made it all the way to Friday. So I saved everyone's favorite Angry Bird for the very last. The romper is from our den. Uh, at one point, I realized that I didn't have the romper on properly, so excuse the elastic band that you will eventually see. <laughs> um, the shoes are from Urban Planet quite a few summers ago, and the hat, which is the best part, is from Just Peach. I will have everything in this video that I can find linked below. That was my one week challenge of Disney bounding every single day. Um, I just did a five day work week. I had a lot of fun with that. It was really interesting to actually wake up and challenge myself a little bit more other than wearing shorts and a graphic t-shirt every single day like I have been at work. Uh, some of them worked out a little bit better than others I think when it actually came across to like showing the character. I definitely still enjoyed it. Um, it was nice because Disney bounding was one of my favorite things that I used to do in the parks and to tell I can't go this year because of COVID it was just a little homage I guess what I'm missing out on. You can still have Disney fun at home, dress up like a Disney character casually for work. If you're weird like me, you can do it too. Let me know in the comments which one you thought I pulled off the best. I would love to know. Maybe I'll do another video like this in fall. Maybe I'll try and do one for each season. That was lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. It helps me out so much. I hope you guys have a magical day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!